a little video for you to show how I put the clay on the former for the lamps I make. That's a piece of plastic drain pipe and then I put the leg from a thick pair of tights onto it. That will help the clay to not stick and also to help get it off afterwards if necessary. Then I cut a bevel onto the edge of the clay. I'm using porcelain paper clay which I buy ready made and often a question is what state of dampness, wetness is it? It's always hard to say. I mean, I suppose I'd say it's kind of halfway between wet and leather hard. Um, but like so many things in clay, it's a case of playing with it and seeing what works best for you. You want it not too wet that, you know, you're going to put marks in it, but you don't want it too dry so that you then can't stamp it and work with it. So now I've put the, I'm putting the clay over the former. You have to line it up so that it goes on straight and will meet the other edge. I'm just putting a bit of water on. I just want those edges of clay to just be sticky but not too wet. Otherwise you'll have a really damp strip down it. And then I just very gently roll it over so that the, the two edges are just touching. And then again gently pushing them together so that it's really nice and tight around the former. And then just rubbing so that the join is really well together, giving it a bit of pressure where the two pieces meet. And with a metal kidney, I'll then cut it flush um, with. <laughs> with the piece, just very gently going down. And just doing it slowly so that you can, you know, it's very easy to cut too much in or to leave, I mean, if you leave too much on, obviously you can go over it, but if you can get it smooth on the first cut, that's always brilliant. Now, I actually can't quite see there. I did actually leave a bit of a hole in the clay at the bottom, um, but I'll fill that in. You'll see that in a second. So again, with a metal kidney, I'm just scraping off the excess because otherwise you kind of have a bit of a lump in the clay. You want to try and get it as smooth as possible. And there at the bottom, you see I put a little bit of clay in because I just cut it a, a bit too thinly. You can just add a bit of clay in as I did there and just scrape it off. And then once that's smooth enough, I move on to the rubber kidney and then just really smooth it off. And that is how I put the clay on the former for my lamps. I also use this method whether it's for candle holders, um, mugs, anything, vases, anything that's a cylinder and that's how I hand build them. hope that's been of some use to any of you that are interested in these things or just fun if you're not. And thank you for watching.